Hi everyone, I'm back with another full face, nothing over $10. Hope you all enjoy. I'm going to start off with my brows using this Essence Super Lash 24 Hour Brow Pomade and it's actually waterproof and on the other side it has a sharpener for the pencil as well as a little brush and it goes on really good and the pigmentation is sufficient and you know a lot of their products are super affordable and so far so good all right so to carve out my brows i'm going to use this covergirl true blend undercover concealer I really like it because it dries down matte and it does a really good job of concealing all of the darkness that I have around my eyes and it really plays well with other eyeshadows as you will soon see. Alright, so I'm going to use this Makeup Revolution self -X Mini Spice Palette and I'm going to start off with that shade that's about the same color as my skin tone and I'm going to use that shade as a brow bone highlight. Alright, so now I'm going to apply this peachy shade just above my crease and the application is really nice. You don't get a lot of pigment all at once. You do have to build it up. So, you know, this type of palette or these type of eyeshadows would be perfect for beginners. Alright, so I'm going to use this terracotta shade directly in my crease and as you can see this shade as well is taking some time to actually build up. So once it's built up I will go in with this really deep chocolate shade um, just to give it more depth and dimension and this is always good if you're going to do a cut crease. So I'm just going to take some time and apply this and build up the pigmentation. Alright, so here comes the fun part and I'm going to cut my crease with this top silvery type of shade and I'm also going to use the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Social Light. So I'm just using a thin brush to just kind of carve out and apply those two shades. All right, now I'm going to go in with this gold shade. Not even sure if you can tell that it's gold, but it is really pretty. And both of the shadows are soft, but the gold shade is a little bit softer than that first silvery type of shade that I applied. So I'm just going to continue to cut my crease. And now I'm adding in some more of that chocolate shade. And now I'm going in with the e.l.f. Black Eyeliner. This is actually a good eyeliner for the price. Um, it glides on really well and it dries down matte and you can't beat that. Alright, so the next part is the foundation and this is the Profusion Feel Good Skin Long Wear Skin Perfecting Foundation and this has hyaluronic acid, it's medium to full coverage, it has a natural satin finish and an SPF of 15. It's also vegan and cruelty free. So for the price guys, this foundation is 
so divine you can get this at walmart i think it's like seven dollars and and just look at how good it makes the skin look All right, so now I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer. This is a pen and I'm just going to use this for brightening purposes only. You know, this one doesn't have a lot of coverage and I'm going to go in over this with the 16 hour camo concealer and as you can see this particular concealer is actually pretty much the same as my skin tone and I'm just going to blend those two shades in. So uh, just in case you're wondering, the 16 hour has better coverage than this brightening concealer. All right, so I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild Contouring Palette to set the under eye concealer. I like it because I feel as though it helps to give you a smooth blurring type of look, you know, as much as possible. After I set my under eye, I'm gonna use this Milani powder, and I'm sorry guys, I didn't open it up so you could actually see the shade but it is just a little bit deeper than my skin tone but this is another powder that does a really good job of smoothing you out giving you that flawless type of appearance all right so now i'm going to apply this red on my lower lash line and after i apply the red i'm going to apply this chocolate brown right up under it just to kind of blend that in. I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Skinny Mascara or maybe Super Slimming. I will have the correct name down in the description box. But this one is perfect for getting those tiny little hairs on your lower lash line. All right, now for a bronzer, and this is the NYX Matte Bronzer. This does lean a little bit red, as you can see, so if red isn't your cup of tea, you might want to stay steer away from this particular bronzer. All right, so now we are into blushes, and this is an e.l.f. Putty Blush, and I went really light-handed on this. You can build it up definitely. And I just decided not to overdo it for this look. Now I'm going into the Wisp ColourPop highlighter and you all, this highlighter is so pretty. It is really reflective. I felt as though I needed to just kind of tone it down with my sponge a bit, but for the price, I really think that this is a beautiful highlighter. For lips, I'm going in with this NYX Lingerie Double XL lipstick and I misjudged the color. I thought that, or I didn't realize that the top of the lipstick was actual, was the actual shade. And I ended up having to go in with a NYX lip liner. I will put the shade down in the description box. After I applied the lip liner, the NYX lip liner, I went in with the NYX lingerie push-up and I actually really love this guys this kind of has like a minty type of I don't want to say flavor to make it seem like I'm eating it but you do get a minty type of vibe upon application you can use it as a lip liner or a lipstick after I apply that I went in with my LA Colors High Shine Shea Butter Lip Gloss just to kind of pull it all together. 
and I ended up loving the final look. And to top it all off, I'm just gonna go in with this Dewy Selfie Ready Setting Spray by Joa, just to give it a nice, fresh, dewy look. And this is the final look. Thank you.